Six games into the field hockey season for the Lady Flames, off to a two and four start. We're joined now by head coach Jody Murphy. And uh, coach, you got a big stretch coming up here at home. Six straight games at home, and you start with a very tough opponent in Wake Forest out of the ACC, a, a top 25 team. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Demon Deacons and also the start so far? Um, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time this week just looking at film of Wake Forest, and they're they're a great opponent. We're we're thankful to have them on the schedule another another time this season, and had them last year, had them the year before that, and last year's game went right down to the to the final second. So we're looking forward to having them here. Um, they're again a great ACC opponent. They play with great speed. Um, they've got a lot of dangerous players, um, but I, I do think that our strength of schedule has has helped us thus far and. Um, I, I do feel like coming off of Sunday's victory, we do have a bit of confidence right now. Uh, two and four start isn't what anybody wanted, but um, you know I've been telling the girls it, it's not a it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And um, so long as we're getting better each and every game, uh, that's what that's what counts. So looking forward to tomorrow. What do you think that uh, this team's found out about itself in the first six games? Um, I think we have some inconsistencies that we have to work on. We've really been kind of ebbing and flowing as the as the games unfold. We're Sometimes we're having a strong start, and then other times, you know, we're starting a little slower, and then we pick it up kind of halfway through the game and then dip again. So we're really just trying to play like a consistent, hard 70 minutes from start to finish. Um, I think we're finding that, um, you know, structurally, we're, we've got some gaps and some things that we've got to work on, um, connecting all the lines, having a, accountability between lines all the way from our goalkeeper all the way up to that center forward. So, um, I'm thankful for, for what we're learning, and I know the girls have a great attitude and a great spirit, and um, they're willing to get back to the drawing board you know, each and every each and every day. Sarah Guy leading the team in scoring so far this season, a couple of goals and uh, five points for her. What have you liked about Guy so far? Yeah, she's made some good adjustments just even in the last two games, um, just playing for pace and, and being less um, – just doing less, I think so many times, you know, less is more in this game. And, and I think she was getting caught early on trying to do too much with the ball. And we've just asked her to play a little bit more simple. And I think as a result, she's breaking through defenses um, much easier. And, and she had a great finish on, on Sunday with an awesome volley shot. So I think uh, her play is, is beginning to really take its form right now. Mallory Cuscio having a really good year defensively. She's 10 saves away from her personal record of 43. Uh, what's, uh, what's it been about her this year that uh, she's been able to kind of step up? Yeah, it's about her confidence, uh, believing and knowing that she can do it. And she, um, you know, she played some last year, had about three or four games in under her belt. But just getting back in the mix for her has been really important and, and playing confidently, knowing that she can come out and make big saves and having a defense behind her that trusts her. So she's uh, she's been doing really well. She's been she's been being super vocal and and really been a mainstay back on that line for us. So great anchor. And we're looking forward to to her continuing on with hopefully some here some shout outs here real soon. Mentioned Wake Forest, they're ranked twelfth in the country coming in here on Friday. And then on Sunday you got a Missouri State Club that's two and three so far this season on a little bit of a Virginia swing. Uh, give us a scouting report on them. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I mean, you know, Missouri State, we, we played them a couple years ago. We didn't see them last year on the schedule, so I'm looking forward to just getting them here, hosting them for the first time on our turf. Um, coming in two and three, they're playing JMU on Friday, so they're going to be coming off a good top 20 opponent as well. So I think, you know, Sunday will be a, a great battle of two two teams that are looking to, to get to that 500 mark, and um, we'll, we'll see. we got to take care of business tomorrow and then put put some things in place for Sunday. How tough are those turnarounds where you're going Friday, Sunday, and you got maybe you know less than 48 hours to prepare? Yeah, they're hard. Um, we we've talked about it before, but you know we have a, a strict regeneration type of system that we have in place to hopefully get the legs back under us. But I'm not gonna lie, you know the bodies break down and and there's a lot of aches and a lot of pains and a lot of soreness. So we try to work really hard on Saturday and that off day to um, to get the girls' legs back, you know, and do an ice bath and and all sorts of stuff to get them ready to go. But it's not easy. It's not easy on them. It's not easy on the coaches, too, trying to get that turnover and film and game plans. But everybody's doing it, so uh, we're no different in that. All right, Jody, appreciate the time. Wish you the best of luck here coming up this weekend, all right? Great. Thanks, Nick. That's Jody Murphy, the head coach of the Lady Flames field hockey team. Check out the Lady Flames this weekend at LibertyFlames.com. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.